So, Tommy, you do a lot of heat pumps, obviously. Yep. What have you actually got in your own home? Have you got a heat pump? I have. I've got the, a hybrid heat pump, intergas hybrid, because I had a combi boiler. We didn't have a hot water cylinder. Mains pressure wasn't brilliant. Um, rather than put a big cylinder in and the mains boost system and all the rest of it, yeah. we kept the combi and added this hybrid, which has got an indoor unit and an outdoor unit. About five kilowatt outdoor unit, so it looks after the heating. When it gets colder outside, if it's struggling on the flow temperature, the boiler just literally comes on, increases the flow temperature, and then backs off. So is it, is it measuring on the flow temperature, not, yeah. not the return temperature? No, it'll measure it on the flow, because if you've got the right DT anyway, yeah. and your flow's dropping, mm. your return's dropping. If your DT's widening, you've got an issue with the circulation somewhere. So if you've got a five DT, but the flow temperature isn't hitting the mark, a bit like with these yeah. when you've got them on a hybrid, yeah. Yeah. It kicks in just to supplement as opposed to take over. Yeah. When you look at the, the other hybrids, the Alpha Hybrid in particular, it doesn't complement the heat pump. It's one or Either other. Either or. If you're putting in something from your, your boiler into the system, that return temperature is going up on the heat pump, so you're, you're basically sending warmer water back to the heat pump. Theoretically, no, because if your flow temperature is lower, when your <laughs> boiler kicks in to increase that flow temperature, that's then going around the system. Yeah. By the time it comes back, you should still have that DT around the five mark. Yeah, so, so the heat pump carries on doing what it's doing yeah. because it's circulating. Yeah. The boiler's just giving it that little bit of an extra boost. Yeah. For those who don't know what the DT is, by the way, that's the temperature differential between the flow and the return. So you're trying to get, what, five? About ideally. five, yeah. So five that's degrees Celsius on that. So. The, the benefit of that compared... So when you're designing a system and you want a, a hybrid, you can design to five, whereas some of the hybrids, the boiler will run at 20, yeah. the hybrid will run at five. What do you mean water temperature? What are you designing your radiators for? And it's a question that they haven't answered and a few of us have asked. But this particular system, you just design it to five because mm. the heat pump does yeah. about 85% of the work. Looking at the data we've had sent through, I think mine through the winter's done, I think it's about 85% of the heating load. And my heat loss was 6.4. So it's, it's, it's working, it's, it's keeping up. Yeah. And it can be, doesn't have to be fitted with specifically the intergas boiler. It can be fitted with an open therm boiler because it all works on the open therm control. Yeah, so it's got to be open therm, so maybe the Wiesman or... Wiesman, or ATAG, uh, yeah. I think the Alpha. So yeah. the, the biggest benefit, well, if you've got the combi already there, you just add this bit of kit. Yeah. And it's zero VAT. At the moment, it's not included in the bus grant, no. which is why there's not been much of an uptake. Well, this is what I said to Adam way back. I said, why don't they put hybrids? Because for some people who can't serve their needs with a heat pump, mm. maybe they haven't got a big maybe enough electricity them. supply coming in, so they want a little bit of each. Mm. So they want to put in maybe an oil boiler or a gas boiler and the heat pump. And or even building rigs. If you've got to go to a 10 or 12 kilowatt unit, which yeah. you've then got to get planning permission, you've got to get your DNO and all the rest of it, you put a seven in, with a small boiler to supplement it, you don't have to put a twin fan unit, away, yeah. you can put a smaller yeah. unit. Hopefully, if that gets brought in, because the other thing, so this kit is about four grand. Yeah. So let's say it's going to be six grand supply and fitted. That customer's got to pay the six grand, no bus grant. Whereas that six grand that they're going to pay, add it to a heat pump with the seven and a half back, you're at 13 and a half, mm. it's, well, I might as well put a heat pump in there. If that does change, I think it will be for the better. It definitely should change. Mm. Um, that, just talking about that intergas boiler, by the way, I always quite fancied them. They're a nice bit of kit, aren't they? It is, it is a good bit of kit, yeah. 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 The exclusive, I mean, the modulation, I think it goes as low as 3.6 kilowatt. Quite easy to set up, easy to use. It takes a while to establish these things, doesn't it? But they kind of came from, they came the, from uh, the standing start. They came from nowhere, didn't they? Yeah. From, from Holland, is it? Yeah, 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 from yeah. Holland, yeah. Yeah, but when you've got the likes of the, the Witch magazine and everyone else trying to get people to put this thing in there, it's... Uh, it's a bit more difficult for them. But yeah, as things move on, I think there'll be a lot more of them going in. Yeah, I like the, when you go in the merchants, they've got a display with the Perspex. Yeah, thing. yeah. You can see all the kit inside. The heat you think that's is a brilliant. Bloody the clever, heat exchanger is absolutely clever design, awesome. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it really yeah, is. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, have, they have their slight drawbacks where if it's in a hard water area, they can scale up, so you've got to be a bit yeah, careful with that. Yeah. Um, but servicing's a breeze, um, and there's virtually no moving parts inside. No, you haven't no. got diverters and plate heat exchangers oh, no, and all the rest a of it. So, bit, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, basically, very... what you've got is a separate hot water flow and a separate Through the heat exchanger, and, yeah. yeah, and a separate uh, heating. heating. Yeah, and they're so, copper. So they're not like a lot of combis. Well, most combis, it's switching over between the two all the yeah. time, it's either or, but with this. It just senses what, what you're using. You turn the tap on. And away it goes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's lovely. Yeah, mm. Well worth looking at. Well, that's yeah. great to know anyway. You're living the... Uh, you're talking the talk and you're walking the walk. Is it constant 
experimentation at your house then? If Always. there's some other bit of kit comes Oh, on, I've got, I've got all in. sorts of stuff linked into it and doing weird and wonderful bits and, yeah, I don't leave it alone. There's always something you can add on to it to try and make it better. And... Yeah. My wife, when I started doing all that mouldy fuel systems, putting all this stuff in, she said to me, if anything happens to you, you fall under a bus or whatever, <laughs> yeah, she, another one. plumber comes in, she said, he's not going to have a clue what yeah, to do yeah, here. Yeah. You know, it's going to take him two days to work it out. Yeah. So I started typing out a list of instructions to the plumber that would proceed. That would need to come after, in. After, or succeed me after my death, the yeah. plumber, to whom it may concern. I'm in my box. You're t- <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, when I got to about the third page of it, I thought, you're mad. And I ripped it all out. I went back to simple. Just because- a nice, easy one, yeah. yeah. But I mean, I've, I've got solar thermal linked into it as well, because the yeah. other thing with the intergas is it can take a preheated temperature. Do you know what? That's what I want, because that's exactly what I've got at home. Mm, so, really yeah, good. I, do you know what? I might get one of those yeah. intergas boilers. Yeah, I, I'm really, really good. Th- I'm really thinking that might be the way forward. Yeah. Because the one I've got at the moment, uh, the backseat platinum, it's all right, but it doesn't modulate. It's just awful, no. you know. No, I think so, we're with the intergas, the only drawback for me is that is the weather compensation, if you want to use it, isn't anything compared with what we do with these. But load comp, open therm, it will still work. It will still work. Okay. So what, you can't set your curves like you can? No, this. no, not at all, not at all. But if you're doing on load comp, it's kind of working out the indoor temperature as opposed to using the outdoor temperature. So it, depending yeah. who you speak to, certain people in the yeah. industry will say that's just as good. Yeah, in, in a way, you can see it, can't mm. you? Because the, it, it, you're concerned about the indoor temperature. So yeah. the outdoor temperature, to a certain extent, is irrelevant. It's what you're getting inside that mm. you're worried about. Yeah. Hence people turning up the thermostat all Cranking the time. Up. Anyway, that's great, mate. Thanks. No worries.